Hello everyone. Okay, this video here today is going to be a little special. Now, I promised a friend that I will make this video. He insisted on me making a video on classical Chinese since there are some things used in, um, well, he wanted me to just to make a video on classical Chinese because I had some experience studying it at OSU. Um, and I told him that there are some a lot of similarities uh, in Japanese, like the modern Japanese, a lot of the a lot of the characters, words and used in modern Japanese are pretty much classical Chinese. I was telling him that I gave some examples and he said, oh, you should totally make a video about it. So um, this is the video I'm going to break down this stuff. Now, this will be probably interesting for those of you who are just learning. Um, maybe you're just learning Chinese. You have no experience with Japanese. This will probably inspire you to actually start learning Japanese because I, I found it very interesting. And I wouldn't have never known about this if I wouldn't have taken a classical Chinese course at OSU. So I took two classical Chinese courses and they were very interesting and difficult, but they're interesting. So um, I should tell you guys some of these, like some of these sentences, the what, the classical Chinese ones I got from this book here. This is the book that we used up at OSU. It's called An Introduction to Literary Chinese. This is very interesting, but it's, it's tough. I will have to say you have um, you you must have some knowledge in modern Chinese before you even touch this classical stuff. This stuff is deep. So let's get to it. Now, um, okay, we'll start with the first one. So, like I said, if those of you who are learning, if, if those of you who are learning Japanese, you might want to pull up your keyboards now. Get your keyboards ready because you want to see. This is going to be interesting for you. So the first one here says, let's see. If you guys are Japanese, you know Japanese, you know this is nai, right? This is nai. This is the informal way of saying arimasen, to not have, nai, right? So um, let me read this Japanese in this. So this one says, Ware ware no uchi wa ima. Usagi ganai. Or I should actually, since it's, yeah, Usagi ganai. What I want to know what you are, Ima, Usagi ganai. So, uh, this is, you guys know, this means our house, like up until this point, our house doesn't have, there, there, there aren't any rabbits in our house. I believe I should put Inai. This is a mistake. Inai. Okay, inai, animate. So, why do I know what you are? Ima, usagi ga inai. There are no rabbits. There are no rabbits in our house right now at this point. That's what, that's what that means. So, okay. So, why do I know what you are? Ima, usagi ga inai. Now, this here, I have this arrow because this... Let me read it. So this is the Chinese. This is this is the um, classical Chinese. So this was from the book. And uh, let's see. Let me try to read this. Hopefully my tonation will be correct. So this says, Zhi Jin Song Guo Wu Tu. Zhi Jin Song Guo Wu Tu. So this is like, um, this means t until like to this point, like up until this point, Jin. It's now, it means now. Song Guo is like some, uh, like, um, it was a Song Guo dynasty, I believe. And Wu Tu. Wu, this is, um, this Wu is, this, this is simplified. It should be this in traditional. Same meaning, but this is just simplified, okay? So, not, no rabbits. So, it's like, um, when it's, it's up until this point, there aren't any rabbits in the Song dynasty. Or something like that. Wu Tu. Right? So Usagi, Usagi, that's rabbit, and Wu Tu. So I just thought that would be interesting to show you. Um, the Nai is pretty much the same. Okay? But if you use Arimasen, if you use that if you use that word Arimasen, then you're gonna you're gonna have that uh, character, Chinese character what yo. This character here, yo. This one. Third tone, yo, to have. Okay, so that's the first one. So, um, 
here, so nine. That's used in classical Chinese. Okay? The second one. This one is, let me read this. Okay, Japanese. This is, Kore wa watashi no uchi jenai. Kore wa watashi no uchi jenai. So this isn't my home. This isn't my home. This one, this is classical Chinese. It says, um, this is what? Tsi fei wu jia. Tsi fei wu jia. So, tsi fei wu jia. So, what is the word here used in Japanese? This one, tsi. It's here, tsi. This means this. Now, in, in, modern, in modern Japanese, they say kore. But they don't use the kanji. But if you type up, if you have your Japanese keyboard now, type kore and press spacebar and look for this character. And you're going to see it in there because that's classical Chinese. Okay? You will see a kore with the le, and then you will also see kono with the possession. You guys know, you guys who know Japanese know that kono is, is this one. So kore. So you type in kore, you will get this tsu, it will pop up. Probably, maybe, I think it's line six. Can't remember. So that was it. Just this quality here. Everything else, nothing else is used here. Well, this is actually modern anyway. This is Jia. They use it in modern Chinese. And uh, yeah. So Wu, my house. Wu Jia. Wu is classical Chinese for Wu. And Fei is just like, it's just like Wu. Something like that. Okay, the next one. This this next one here. He Gu. What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading. No, this is Japanese first. <laughs> okay. This is Naze Kono Kotoba o Itan Deska. Naze Kono Kotoba o Itan Deska. So, why did you say that? Like, these words, why did you say them? Like, why did you say that? In Chinese, they would say, He Chu Tsi Yen. He Chu Tsi Yen. He Chu Tsi Yen. So, this here, you see, now, this, this is, this is like part of this he, uh, he gu, right? And I think I wrote it down here, or he gu, sorry, he gu. So this is actually uh, classical Chinese for why, he gu, and, but in Japanese they say naze. So if you type naze, you want to get this he gu. That's classical Chinese. Okay, now in China, they shorten it here. He chu zi yan. It's like, why come out these words? Why did you say that? Pretty much, that's what it means. He chu zi yan. If you say that to a Chinese, I, I, I say that to like uh, some Chinese people in chat rooms and they just get all surprised. They're like, oh, you know that? You know that's classical? That's one yan one. You know that one yan one, one yan one. So, so funny. But that's what it is. So he he gu, why? And also, he means, um, it means what? So it has two meanings. It means what and it means why. And so and if you guys know Japanese, this is nani. Even if, if you type nani, you'll get the same character. Okay? All right. Let's see where I'm at on time. Whoa, eight minutes. Okay, the next one. Let's see. This is, what did I write? Oh, this is a class of Chinese first. Okay, wo bu ju, wo let's see, wo bu ju, wo suo shu zhe he wu, he wu, wo bu ju, wo suo shu zhe he wu. Okay, now the class, the the modern Chinese for this is wo bu ju da wo chu shen me dong xi le, wo wo bu ju da wo chu shen me dong xi le. So I don't know what I ate. So I don't know. 我不知, 我说是, see this swore here, this is very, this and this is like a nominalizer and marking the object in the classical Chinese. And as you can see, shu means to eat. So shu zhe, I can't remember what the function of this zhe is. I think it's part of marking the object. And he wu is shema dong shi, pretty much, but that's how they say it in classical Chinese. So, shu, eat. Let me underline. So, shu, which they don't use in modern Chinese, they like they always use it for shu. 